G'day. Hopefully you're doing very well keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing pretty good on this side of the planet. Now on this channel, I do my best to try and stay unbiased and also evenly cover both your Intel and AMD news. Now I also try to cover most business and commercial enterprise sort of tech or operations and business products. And I, though this video may sound a little bit biased and also a bit sort of like an ad, but really, I just want to give you information about some things to actually consider. And this video is not sponsored. It just may sound like it, but I just want to give you extra information. Now, and that is AMD have now newly launched their new AMD Ryzen Pro 7040 series processors. Now, the AMD Ryzen Pros, that is geared towards your business sector and those business computers. And so I just want to have give you a little bit inf more information. Now, I'm going to bring up some slides. I'm going to let you read some of the slides, and I just want to give you my thoughts and what I thought about these, and also some of the information I did get from talking to AMD. And so we're going to start off about the AMD Ryzen Pro 7040 series. Now, it is running on the Zen 4 architecture, which is really nice, and they are using that sweet, nice 4 nanometers. Now, also, it does run off RDNA-free graphics, which I can tell you from my experience, and also testing from the past, that this integrated graphics is definitely, the AMD says it is the world's most powerful one, and I can say, I can, Pretty much back that up saying it is from a lot of my testers, it is very, very good as integrated graphics there. And and there is something new on this, which we will talk a little bit later on, which is the AI engine in this processor in the 7040 series. Now, just to give you a little bit of help on the AMD, because a lot of people don't realize of the new naming schemes. Now, this is not probably new in 2023, as this was probably in 2022. They kind of bring this out near the end. Now, just to give you an idea how to decode their naming scheme. Now, the first one of the number is really the year that it is brought out. Now, seven, which means it is in 2023. So next year will be in the eighth, which will be in 2024. Now, the next number you'll see, which is the in this case a six it is also telling you give you a little bit of an idea on what processor kind of is it a uh, ryzen 3 ryzen 7 or a ryzen 9. now you'll get an eight number there which means it could be a ryzen 7 or a ryzen 9 but the rest should be self-explanatory that way there now also the third number you'll see is the architecture number so in this case because we're running on zen 4 we'll get for to help you out so you can know what architecture it is and of course the last number there is just to help you out with what kind of things so you can either have an upper or lower limit now most of the times you'll probably see the zero rather than the five number as the five number is just a little bit of a higher spec version and then we'll get the form factor it is trying to compete in now the u series which is what we're going to be talking more about today is for the ultra light sort of computers it is the other ones that you'll probably see on this channel which is used in the mobile workstation class and that usually is the h series or in the in amd case is the h X or HS series that you would see more in. And then we've got the C for the Chromebooks and all that. So which is probably you won't see that much on this channel, but I do bring a few tales in. Now, hopefully that will give you an idea on how to actually decipher those. Now, one of the things that I was very interested in when I was talking to AMD was they were actually giving a bit of slides and they, these slides were off coming from AMD and that is about the battery life. Now, I know from what the from a lot of them actually talking to AMD, they are very, very concerned and very putting a lot of emphasis on trying to be very power efficient. Now, in this the example here, they actually, actually, what is besides just competing against Intel, which is the U series, it does try and compete against the P series of the Intel phone. And of course, they'll you know give the numbers out, but we'll see that in our usual testers. But what's really interesting to see is they're really putting in the Apple M2. Now, the Apple M2 silicon processor is amazing. I can tell you that from my own experience as my daily driver is a Mac. And the reason why I've chosen Mac is for the basically battery life. Now, they've actually put it up against an M2 and they say it beats it, which is really good to see that they're actually high, putting themselves higher up and aiming for high things, 
uh, for the competition to see how their battery life works. Now, I do know they actually just put a lot of uh, efficiencies and also stages in their processes and instructions to actually help with the power efficiency. Now, they also I know when I was having a chat with them later in this year, uh, that you'll probably see is they actually bring out an online tool calculator. I think it's called the AMD Ryzen Power Efficiency Online Tool. Uh, and that helps you basically give you an idea for more for the business enterprise to actually calculate on if they bang in a few how many of the computer in the fleet we're talking about a fleet not just one computer we're talking about probably about 10 100 10,000 computers and you just put into that and what you've got and it tells you a little bit more better numbers to actually give your idea now rather than just spit out like a wattage they actually spit out a whole bunch of ideas of how many hours or how many uh, forests it saves or how much oil uh, less uses just to give you a better idea more of a practical ideas it's kind of cool be on the lookout for that now besides that i'm just going back to the slides here now and there and again we are really just looking more into how they actually compete against the Apple M2. So that is a really high standard already. And they're really trying to aim for and actually try and compete. And well, in this case, saying they're actually getting a lot better performance, not only in just the responsiveness, also multitasking, also the battery. Now, one of the things you do realize, and I'm not sure you've actually know that, AMD do run pretty much all their cores, or a cores in the 78 40s that is their probably their what i call flagship processor for the u series it does run eight cores now all eight cores are performance cores we don't have any efficiency cores like intel do run some performance cores and efficiency cores i think their uh, intel runs about four or six uh, power cores and also then they actually run some efficiency cores now amd they've decided to just go give you the full performance cores and then they actually do instructions to try and power saves. That is really nice to see. Now, besides all the power efficiency scores, the new Ryzen Pro 7040 also has a new AI engine. Now, this is probably the world's first integrated AI engine in the x86 processor, as they will name it. And this is going to be really nice to actually do. Now, I'm actually very interested to see what will come up. I know AI is a buzzword at the moment in 2023 that we're here, but we're going to have a look at what kind of things that the AI engine could do. So it could actually help increase in speed in processes, as well as giving you a bit of security functions in the AI can actually do what I would say in calculating, trying to work with privacy as well as security um, features like that. So this is all about programming at the moment. We may not have it right now, but this is what the AI engine could help. So it can, you can set offload some of the stuff that would very heavy and intensive on the process itself into the AI engine. And the other things you can do is especially like, for example, a really can talk about the Copilot, which is the Microsoft Copilot. Now that is about giving analysis on the Office suite or the Office sort of applications and also it's uh, cloud applications that you can So you can actually ask the guys, analyze the spreadsheet or what is that? and do things and that's what Copilot is able to do. So they did talk about that and that can be offloaded to this new AI engine from the Ryzen thing. Now, besides all the fun things about the AI, they have in AMD given you a practical sort of example that I have talked about that you would see that you probably will likely touch every day if you're in business. And that is using Teams. So what could the Teams uh, that we're using the AI engine for? And here we go. We've got some black background glows that a lot of people see, and I see that pretty much daily here. Uh, people use the background glows. Now that does use a lot of image uh, recognition, and then it needs to actually work out what it needs to blur out and keeping things in focus so that is actually running on that could be utilized and also offloaded to the ai engine now auto framing now currently i'm not using auto framing on my webcam but it can do that where it does record in higher resolution and then it's going to work out where you're detecting my face and then it will actually frame it to there so that is very useful which is a lot of times at the moment in ai is actually using a lot of image uh, and so you can probably use sound as well too that actually for noise reduction as it's got to try and work out what is the main sound and all stuff so again that's will be ai helping that or there now uh eye glazing so basically trying to keep things in 
basically know who your focus if there are people in the actually team so it's okay uh if someone's speaking and that was probably again voice recognition knowing that okay this is the person i should put up kind of within those frames to kind of give you an idea of what's in the conference itself yeah. so it is really nice to see what the ai is going to do and again amd will be putting out sdks to actually help out programmers so you can see definitely see what we'll be having in the future so it's an exciting space in ai to see where that's going to take us now of course with the amd ryzen pros you now this is across all the ryzen pros they have all these nice little features that what business would expect so you got your uh amd pro security now the amd pro security there is a lot of layers i hope i might have a slide about that i haven't actually got a slide of that that's kind of sad but we'll get into that now there it talks about a lot of layers now this is all about hardware and software compatible all the extra stuff uh you can actually check that out i'll put a link in the description below about if you want to check out some more information there but what I really want to more give you a bit of more idea about is the AMD Pro Management. Now, I might have talked this about in my previous live streams. Stuff that now AMD Pro Management. Now you might not know what it is, but in here in the business world, you probably hear about V Pro. Now V Pro is something that will help with management of fleets of computers through or for remote tasks uh, as well as just keeping like even assets or checking in things or even help remote into assistance things like that or just keeping things updated and that is well. now amd have their own one which is called the amd pro management now those who are integrated with uh, say well, probably i'll find that most of the i'm just going to try and not be too uh guessing but i'm saying most of the world will probably run on microsoft active directory and how they do have your active directory add-ons uh, can be compatible with the active directory with the amd management pro so it is very nice there now the, they also talk about the amd pro business ready now this is interesting here because they do have a lot of expert amd do if you can call them up and i have experiences plenty of times firsthand now if you're interested to actually integrate amd um, products as well as the making your enterprise ready for amd products uh, so they actually have a lot of experts and engineers ready to go if you really want some help in trying to integrate amd's products into your environment so they are very nice and i've got to say i was actually blown by a lot of for the last couple of years on how let's just say approachable as well as how helpful they are the amd people to actually now here in australia i found the team for amd have been absolute fantastic now we're quite well, we're physically a large country but a very small um, population and yeah they are actually a fantastic um amd team here in australia and they've been very helpful on trying to get people to integrate their products and i just i'm blown by how well they are whereas and Team Blue, it's probably it's just used to that, but uh, we don't really get that kind of service uh, that I've seen from Team Blue here. But from AMD, I'm blown by how well they are and how approachable they are to a lot of business to try and help you out in getting it integrated into the systems there. So that's kind of really cool and sweet. Now the other thing I really like to actually just touch about, and this is something that probably oh, probably may not be exciting to you, but something that I actually found was really just kind of hit my heart a little bit more than a lot of other people did is actually i like the new amd slogan now this was probably brought out i think in about 2022 but i just want to bring you an idea of what i'm talking about here now amd slogan is together we advance now intel one i actually can't remember well, i think it is uh make wonderful things or something like that for the last uh four years or so but a amd's one is together we advance now they talk about security sustainable computing and performance or ai or whatever it is but that slogan of together we advance i really hit to me because of just my experience with amd through their business relations and uh, that i actually do reach out to you and they have local people there that they actually do do a lot of stuff and they listen for feedback as a company and then actually trying to help or innovate according to a lot of feedback as well too so that slogan there together we advance i love that out of the where they actually say together uh, we do things together. I think that's absolutely fantastic. So I just want to make it a nice little uh, tops up for AMD for I really love their new slogan there and it really does touch my thing. Having worked in many large enterprise environments as well as purchasing large bulk of computers in the past, 
and also working in the tech sector, I have noticed a lot of environments are Intel based. And I've always welcomed competition as it gives better competitive pricing as well as trying to innovate the actual industry even further in advance. And I've always said it's always nice to have a look at what is products are available so you can make a better decision. So AMD do bring a nice little package of products for the business sector and they are growing and they are looking quite very attractive these days. So definitely have a look at those if you're considering purchasing some computers or even just looking at integrating some AMD products in your environment. Now I hope you find some of this information somewhat valuable or informative if you did even support my channel smash that like button for me and as always imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and i'll see you in the next video